Rural Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with The Bad Batch. We're continuing on. Um, as a lot of you know, we recently just launched Star Wars Wave Squadron, a new YouTube channel that is going to be hosting all of Blind Wave's Star Wars content. Mm -hmm. uh, we're launching it with Mandalorian Season 3 that drops today. It's going to be over there at that channel. So if you want to check that out, please subscribe. We're going to continue doing Bad Batch on this channel. One, we don't want to really split where we're hosting it because this would kind of be like changing venues in the middle of the season. Sure. And two, it's going to give us an opportunity as Star Wars fans come in and ask, hey, where's Mandalorian? We'll be able to have just a natural place to tell them about yeah. it as we finish out. It'll be a natural redirect so that people yeah. know where things are. So. You can find the link to Wave Squadron down in the description and the pinned comment. And, uh, yeah, it's we're very, very excited about this new channel. So if you like Star Wars and you want to see some more uh, focused content, please check it out. And we don't have to clutter up this channel if you're just like, ah, I just, I casually watch, you know? Clutter? It, we can get clutter. With Mandalorian? I'm just saying, there's a lot of videos we put out every week, Calvin. Most YouTube channels don't put out 30 videos. All right, so last week on The Bad Batch, we uh, got we, off planet, yeah. right? Um, we Finally, uh, yeah. caused a... A uh, revolution. A revolution, yeah. A, a, a child word. rebellion. Yeah, where mm -hmm. they took over and stopped that guy who does not know how to swing his Seize thing. the means of production. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he does not know how to swing oh. his thing. <laughs> In fact, Mobile. that was the, the focus of our poll. Yes, sir. We had a great poll. <laughs> I just remembered it. Moco or Mako. Mako, yeah. yeah. Mako. Mako. Oh, yeah. I cannot Mako. wait to read these replies. <laughs> I remember what it was. All right, Aaron. Well, I'll remind you. Was Mako's strike that ended in a fall the worst miss in Star Wars history? If not, what was? Oh, okay. 80% of people said yes. 80. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of a stacked poll. Anyway. And Calvin, I have you know. It's 80-20. Adds up. <laughs> Math. <laughs> the first one is... Not if you count Calvin's Battlefront 2 gameplay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's the <a> champion! <laughs> I'm sorry, Calvin. <clears throat> Sabu Tower says, When Maul and Savage attack the Hut family with the aid of Death Watch, there is a Gamorrean guard that does not hear the commotion going on outside, only notices the two of them when they're already within maybe 40 feet of the gathered Hut family, and proceeds to walk slowly towards them with an axe before getting shot by a Mandalorian. I don't know if that quite qualifies for this competition, but it has the same there was an attempt feeling as Mako's final attack. And it's like he did a whole lot and he just got shot. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're excited. I've played you, three hours ever. You were so excited for this, <laughs> and then that's the first one you got, and you're just like, I hate this poll. <laughs> Maybe I should have left it for the end. It was literally the first one. Like, that guy got it as soon as we posted. Uh, Some people just love just jumping on opportunities to trash people. What is it Alfred says? Uh, Alfred. Yeah, Michael, like Michael, Michael K. Some uh, just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> Matthew Cronin says somehow Red Leader managed to get his proton torpedo in the exhaust port and it still didn't go in, just impacted on the side. It's a hard shot. I wouldn't it's a way. Yeah, that's, that's, like a, a, that's not a, a worse miss. miss. Yeah. No. Like, he got closer to his target. He made the board a little Maka bit bigger did. for Luke. You know, yeah, you know when you're exactly. trying to get the jar open and someone else... I loosened it. Yeah, yeah. Loosened. You know what he didn't do? What? He didn't die because of that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, this guy missed and put himself in... Peril. Yeah. yeah. That he wasn't necessarily in before. Gold leader, though. Yeah. <laughs> Did Gold leader die? I can't remember. Right now. Well, I mean, <laughs> pretty much everyone died. They all died. It just, the, the miss of the yeah. missile wasn't like, well, now he's in more danger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He was already getting chased and shot at. Allison says, no, but your reaction made it funnier. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Prince of the Word over Sam and says, while Mako's miss would make. Uh, most stormtroopers try to face bomb. Try to face bomb. They can't because they're wearing a helmet. The biggest miss was Obi Wan, missing his chance with Senator Satine, Duchess Satine. Duchess I get what Satine. you mean. Yeah, oh, man. that's a big miss. Mm. If you had said uh, the word, I don't know if I count away. that one. It's romantic, Calvin. Well, it's just and tragic. Calvin. It was a it was a choice, not like a. He made his choice. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> he just. Politely and gently sidestepped it. That's not missing. 
<laughs> Randall Mills says no. Grando, <laughs> sorry, let me restart this. Randall Mills says no. Greedo missed Han point blank since the first special edition. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did anyone mention Admiral Trench? They, Trench, they yeah. I say Admiral Trench, Trench had a big a miss. And That's true. Right? Whenever the he, first time he died or the second time he died? How yeah. time did he die? <laughs> yeah. I guess the second time he died. Well, the second time he <laughs> fires a laser net at Anakin, it misses and he takes out his one guard. And then, yeah. I don't mm. have such weakness. Yeah, I'm thinking of the uh, the cloaked ship, right? When yeah, he shoots missiles right. at him and yeah. then he brings it back around and blows him up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, maybe he should have done something else. Commander Cody shooting at the, uh, the little the, the squeaking lizard thing that Obi-Wan was riding. You missed! Boga. With a cannon! <laughs> <laughs> with a cannon. We'll end with Danny King, who says, Padme missing Anakin so much that she literally dies of sadness was pretty, pretty rough, too. <laughs> That's a fantastic point. I Damn. understand. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more there than just that. Like, the, like the childbirth. a bunch of kids. <laughs> we would assume that, so. But if we go ask George Lucas, he'll be like, eh, no. She's just real sad. But she's got babies, George. She doesn't care about them. She doesn't love them. Shut up, nerd. <gasps> Do you think? No. What the? Commando. No. Do you? I don't know. We'll see. I'm getting too excited for I, I what it might not I be. I don't know. It ain't October. I know. <laughs> oh, no. His flashlight's going out. <laughs> oh, I think it is, Eric. Dude, this is straight up alien right here. Yeah. It is. That's just alien. That's alien. Oh man. Okay, maybe not. But that's a good. Shot. Were you thinking Death Trooper? Yeah, <laughs> I was. But this is creepy. Yeah. Huh. What was? It? Harris talking about the old Death Troopers. How the Death Troopers been doing? Current mountainous. Oh my god. So oh. this is like three days earlier. Uh, maybe I don't know. That's the ship right there. That is the ship. Yeah. Dude, this is the place they're doing cloning. Right. This is where they brought. Uh, this is where said. Isn't this where they were training uh, to get stormtroopers? Well, yes, but they brought Nala. I think Nala said. Oh, here okay, yeah. For her cloning. Yeah, ability. there's the ID. I. Yeah. And those guys look like Doctor Pershing a little bit. Yeah, as a they're, they're patch. It's been a long time, Mistress Singh. Indeed, Doctor Hemlock. Doctor Hemlock. Oh, it pains me to see you like this. What a subtle performance this guy's giving. Why someone so talented? Prefer to rot in the cell instead of using their gifts to better the galaxy. Don't you wish to be a part of such a scientific achievement? I know what Emperor Palpatine expects to accomplish. What does he seek to accomplish? And he will not have my cooperation. Perhaps you require the right incentive. Know that I'll be taking over operations here on Tantus. Tantus. And far worse than confining you to a cell. And I'll let you think on that. Dude, this is a hell of an episode to jump in. Mm -hmm. Mandalorian's there. Doctor. 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 We lost communication with the transport. Okay. So it's a similar transport, but not the same ship. What's on that ship? You want to hear my random extra guess that put? I do not. I know exactly what it probably is. Tell me. No. I'll tell you after. <laughs> because I got a tip on a down ship. Oh no. It's cargo right for the taking. I'll even give you 30% of the cut. 30? Is our standard percentage. Alright. It's one time. Let's say 35%. 40. Okay, 40. For you. <laughs> I don't think you can buy trust, Sid. Or just don't do it. That's tense. You've already that looks it. like something to hold the Hulk. So it does look like you the, know, like the, the yeah. pod thing. Um, yeah, on the helicarrier. Those are claws. Mm hmm. It ripped right through that. Oh, Palpatine with Wolverine claws. Is that what it is? Yeah. 
<gasps> it's so alien, I love it. it oh is. my gosh. What is it? Whoa! It's so alien! It eats energy. Yeah. How many are there? Oh, wow. It's got like a spiked tail. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's just like a cloned monstrosity of like a bunch of things amalgamated? Together? I have no idea. <clears throat> uh -oh. oh, it's gonna go crazy now. It's evolving. They change based on what they eat and stuff, and how much they eat. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Like its scales have like flared up. It's like storing it. It is really xenomorph like, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no! It's gonna get is out. Is that a good thing? No. It's gonna get out. It's like fully charged up. Look, it's gonna go to the village and all the lights. Yeah. Oh no. It will. Oh, well, at least got, it gives off yeah, heat. You gotta do something. Alright, bad bitch. What a nigga. I know what you're thinking. Gene splicing, Eric! I, when I saw its face, I thought, maybe. <laughs> Much. Oh my god, it is! Aaron, Tell me it's a zombie! You held this candle for ah! so long! <laughs> I can't believe it! It had six legs, didn't it? Yes! Oh my god, it yes! had six legs! Yes! <laughs> it's a zombie! Ah! It's Kazuki! There's a second note I wrote down, Calvin saw it. <laughs> Season two of the Clone Wars. Oh my Season gosh. Season two, everybody. We've cloned it. Oh. oh my gosh, that's a lot. I've been holding on that for so long. <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't even want you to hope. I didn't want you to... <laughs> you thought it was really good. I didn't want you to feel sad, buddy. <laughs> I was hoping too. Oh, dude, dude, that is so many gunships. This is very King Kong like King Kong right now. They're shooting into the city. <coughs> They're not there for them though, right? No. Nope, I guess they are. What about the beast? They're defending it. They need to recover it, right? Oh, nice. It wouldn't surprise me this if they poor just, village. They're, they're wiping out all witnesses. Yeah. That's terrible. Disable the power grid. There you go. I mean, that's good for it, but poor village. They're trying to recontain it, aren't they? Yep. Oh, there's the laser. There it is. That's the, uh, the, they put him to sleep, right? Yeah. The ion laser, or whatever it is, right? Might be right? a lot more power from that laser, too, from that ship, than, plus he's little. And he's little, yeah. Littler. The claw. Ah. <coughs> I can't believe it. They're taking it. Let's not be next. Yeah, get out of there. No. Oh. Shit. They are gonna kill everyone, aren't they? Oh my gosh, Commandos. no. Dark Commando. Oh, is that... You think, think it is? I think that's Sev. He had the yellow bands. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, Tech's really hooked on to Omega. Those two. Right? Yeah. Oh, like, they, they, I love that he puts her harness on first. They connected before. I, I like it. I like her having different connections with each one of them. Like, Wrecker's like the brother, Hunter's kind of a dad. Look at that shot. Dang it. 
No, man. Are they gonna kill this whole village? That's what they're gonna do, isn't it? I think it? so, yeah. To hide all the information? <laughs> Luckily, it, I can feel your happiness LOVs. radiating. It just took so long for it to finally show up. That would have been 2009, I think. <laughs> Jeez, really? <laughs> I think so. I'll have to check. First season was 2008, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Sev. I hope he doesn't like this. They're taking everybody. Oh. Why? Cloning genetic material. I was gonna say, maybe they know. need biomass or something. I suspect the Empire did not destroy the cities on Kamino to end cloning. They merely wanted to control it. Hide the fact that they're still doing it. Mm hmm. Send the data to Echo and Rex. See what they can find out. Yes. This is big stuff. I love it. I mean, I love the story, not just the Zillow Beast thing, but yeah. I love it too. It must be frustrating to have your resources but lack the expertise to achieve your goals. <laughs> if you fail to convince her, it won't be long before you are in a cell like me. If you know a way to persuade the scientist, now will be the time to mention it. Indeed, in exchange for my freedom. Steve is cool. Particular clone we must no. Omega. Fuck. She just happens to be on that ship you lost. You snitch. Yep. Doesn't care. I never liked this prime minister. No. No. Is it it? It's got to be it. Dang man. Part one. No, it's just such a good story. I love it. Oh, thank you, Dave. We're eating good today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called metamorphosis, Eric? Because Why it changes. It changes as it eats and gets bigger. Aaron, I am so happy <sighs> for myself, but I'm more happy for you. <laughs> I, honestly, every every episode, my Zillow beast. I never believed it was gonna happen, really. But I'm so glad it did. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so what, disappointed what do because it? I have. Yes! I had a crazy thought in the beginning of like, oh, they're transporting something. Oh, it's the cloning thing? Like, oh, that's, this might be the world where we might actually finally get to see the Zillow thing. It, it's a big mountain. I didn't say it before <laughs> he wrote it down. And then it, I was like, oh, it was I funny write it down because now. I had written down Dr. Hemlock, so it was after we met him. But yeah. in the beginning, I was like, oh, are we doing a, like a Death Trooper thing? Or it would be so cool yeah. to have these... You know, like a zombie stormtrooper storyline that we're doing or something. See, when you when you first says like, "Is it what I think it is, Eric? Is it?" I was thinking it's got to be Zillow Beast. That's <laughs> got to be what he's thinking. No, so I, I didn't, didn't even bring it up then. I didn't think yeah. they do like, alien stuff. Like Death that troopers. was sweet. What? No, we yeah. Already, we already kind of had Death Troopers a little bit with, with the, the Geonosian, Geonosian stuff. slugs. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I wanted it to be scary. Like that looks scary. You know, was, the atmosphere was it was amazing. great. Just that coming into shot, just the ship being de like destroyed. Oh, I loved it. Really, really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. First, I thought you were talking about like, are they, like, are they cloning Ewoks? Are they making Ewok hunt scary <laughs> oh again? <my> See, <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> gonna say that as a joke, but this my is better. Thought, <laughs> <come on the track. laughs> my initial thought was like, okay, well, what if like they were doing some kind of cloning thing and it messed up, and now there's like an infection thing, and that's yeah. how you get to like a death trooper sure. kind of thing, right? But then whenever it was like this alien thing grabbing them, like that was like, you know the look up. You know, yeah. like, them having like this, the drool dropping, like all of that was yeah. so alien. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't think about it. I was like, I wrote down, cloned baby Zillow Beast. And Calvin watched me write it and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were thinking the whole time. Oh, until you guys hilarious. mentioned the death trooper. I was or joking, but I thought it'd be funny if it's just like a crazy, insane Palpatine clone. Yeah. That has his power, but none of his wits. You know, just, <laughs> you know? He's like a, like Darth Maul. Yeah. Just, like all crazy. But it didn't happen. Oh, this one's man. vastly superior just for the moment. Because when I first saw it, I was like, the like the face shape and the neck I could see being sure. like a younger Zilla beast, but it's got four legs. Yeah, like, and it didn't have all the... But, it had, like, but he had this big like spike on his back and then yeah. the tail. And then the metamorphosis, it started, got longer. Because Zilla beast has that like double tripod look, right? Yeah. So I was like, that's four legs. It can't be Zilla beast, dummy. <laughs> Are you dummy? Metamorphosis. I should have known. 
Let's find out who played uh, Dr. Hamlet. Hemlock. 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 All right, Dr. Hemlock was Jimmy Simpson. Jimmy Simpson. I okay. really enjoy Jimmy's uh, performance a lot. Just like a very subtle, understated, like, I don't know, Professor Snape feel to like, you know, he doesn't have to yell to be taken very sure. seriously. Very you know? Low. Yeah, like it's, it's an incredibly serious character, and especially after having lost Rampart, it seems like we have a, a new antagonist. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And it is Scorch. 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 Okay. Yeah. Nice stuff. Gotcha. So Scorch is like Scorch. Uh, that's right. He's the flamethrower guy. I right? guess that that was with Emery Carr then. Like, uh, I don't know what you would call him necessarily, but every time we saw her, which I think was the lady with like the weird glasses. Yeah. I think Scorch was with her. So. Yeah, Scorch. That's would his, make sense. That's his markings. I always get. That's dust. who we saw back in season one as well. Yeah. I think, yeah. Scorch. So. At Seth the uh, Scorch. at the trooper training facility, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I always get my Republic Commandos mixed up when Delta Squad. I'm sorry. I don't have the damn figures on pre order. I don't have them yet. Can't learn. You can't see them even when you get them. I know. When are they going to make a Zillow Beast one? Ah. Eric, so, so how long has it been? Because okay. were, were both episodes of the Zillow Beast in the same season? Uh, were they an arc? Or so. In 2008, the movie came out, and then I think 2009, season one came out, and then I think 2010. Because they had so two episodes. So, season two, episode 18 was the first appearance. Yeah. And that was The Zillow Beast, April 3rd, 2010, April 9th in the USA. Okay. What about the second episode? Because that's uh, the one whenever it came to Coruscant. What one is that? And Attack then it ripped through Beast? everything, and then that's season when they... That's when he implied the cloning process. It consists of two episodes. It debuted with the Zillow Beast April 9th and concluded with the Zillow Beast Strikes Back April 16th. Okay, so it was the back to back episodes. I couldn't remember if they were like that or if it was one of those Dave Filoni, like, let's go back and revisit. That's not Dave, that's George. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Dave didn't want to do that. George George was like, nah, no one cares. go back. I did the prequels after the (laughs) break. Do it again. (laughs) 200 million. But man, what a reward. What a candle you've carried, Aaron, for so long. Man. What about the Zillow Beast? You <laughs> fool. Uh, how many times have I brought that up? <laughs> like, I feel like it's been so many times. At least in 20 videos. Yeah, right? Even Which just might not sound like a lot, but it is. <laughs> just in Bad Batch, it's been brought, I brought yeah. up a lot. Yeah. To the point where I was like, Aaron Pike, just shut up! Yeah. They're not going to do that! <laughs> no. But I mean, you know, we got some, you know... I just didn't expect to pick up on this storyline. I guess so quickly, but it is 11. We're 11 episodes in. No, I yeah. I think it makes sense. I feel like we kind of like... We wrapped up the Rampart story, yeah. right, with the first half, mm-hmm. and now we've gotten ourselves to one. I think that we're kind of gearing to leave Sid. Sid, yeah, which yeah. may not a happy. Which, if that's the case, now. maybe we end up attaching ourselves more with like Rex and Echo and stuff, mm-hmm. right? And uh, be cool. And then we mix that with what we're learning from the cloning thing that's going on, yeah. and them being clones, it's like messing with their home, right? Like that's the idea. Yeah. So I think you build up this little clone group, we remo- remove ourselves from Sid, and maybe yeah. that's kind of the route we go. You know? Yeah. I mean. Led by Scorch? I mean, they said... Scorch, Scorch looked not... I mean, I can't say he looked not happy, but, like... He talked about processing. His body language yeah. seemed to be not jazzed. Yeah, right? Like, if... I feel like if that had been, uh... He still has like, a Crosshair. If I were in right? character as Scorch, I would say, this is not lit. <laughs> if, this was, if it was Crosshair, I feel like the body language... I wouldn't have felt like, ah, oh, he's not in for this, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even with his helmet on, I was like, I don't know, Scorch might not be enjoying this aspect of yeah. whatever he's doing or he might be against it you know mm-hmm. I never played the Republic Commando game so I don't know his personality from that game yeah. or anything or if they will try to emulate that yeah. or what but I think yeah, it would be I, cool I to have one of those guys join you know I mean it would definitely be cool that'd be cool we're gonna Sweet. Aaron need to get you playing that game I like know, uh, over at Rose Squadron or <laughs> Rose Squadron game <laughs> Wing Squadron <laughs> <laughs> that could be fun yeah I mean, if it's going to become more relevant, that might be a good like off-season thing to do. Yeah. Where do you play that? Is that, um, is that on the did, Switch now? They did release it on the Switch. They did a remake. Um, I think I have it And they have it, it available on Steam, I think, too. Yeah. Um, and was it, it was made to be four-player co-op, too, wasn't it? Or was it made to be a single-player experience? It's single-player experience. You, you okay. play as, I think his name is Boss, mm. and then you have the others. Boss? There. Yeah. Is he the leader? Yeah. <laughs> Boss Fixer. No oh, shit! Huh. Uh, is he the mechanic? Hey, boss. <laughs> He's got one eye. What does Scorch do? <laughs> oh, you scorch some Geonosians in that game. Let me tell you. But yeah, maybe I need to go through and play that at some point. That'd be fun. Is it like that episode of uh, Clone Wars? I just burning the shit out of them. I was like, these are Calvin, bugs. That, that game, it's a fantastic game, but that game is it's pretty graphic in that 
you're killing bugs and they're bugs, so it's not that, you know, it's not immature. You kill bugs and the bug slime gets on your helmet and it goes, <laughs> gets all the slime off. It burns it away on their really cool visor. It's awesome. Uh, it's like, okay. Torch, hose me down. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It. Burn all the gunk off. But the big thing is that we have a target on Omega herself. Yeah. Prime yeah. Minister, what is it? Lama Su, right? Lama, Lama Su. Su. Yeah. He snitched. Now, we've talked in the beginning. It's like, well, I don't want to worry about it right now, but yeah. the Bad Batch can't have a totally happy ending, right? So, what if the Empire succeeds oh. with, with capturing Omega? I mean, I feel like we're really building up for this this cloning stuff because it's not just in Bad Batch; it's in no. Mandalorian, yeah, now too. So I yeah. don't know what the answers there, or the road ahead. Although, there may be. to yeah. be fair, the Mandalorian cloning stuff that we saw wasn't super successful. Well, so sure. maybe Nala Se isn't involved with. But that, I say but whatever they're doing is after the events of Episode Six, so we know that there's still, even then, remnants of whatever this cloning. Group yeah. is or yeah. facility, maybe. I don't know yeah. if it's multiple facilities or yeah. they just have the one, you know? Sure. And it's obviously not just for Palpatine himself. Like, they're doing Beast and mm -hmm. like War Beast now, you know? Yeah. Like, if you could clone an army of Zillow Beasts and just set him loose on a planet you don't like. Well, yeah, like. Uh, yeah, what can, what can like, you do? It's like, it's like Frieza and Saiyans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that might have been a better solution than trying to bring the Death Star around. Just, like, sneak over, drop a Zillow Beast on Yavin yeah. and take off, you know? Yeah, yeah. sure. Also, it was interesting, the Zillow Beast eating the electricity. Mm -hmm. We talked about, like, he ate the gas, which yeah. was their fuel source they used. They're from Malastare, they, they right, eat, where the Dugs are. Yeah. yeah. Energy. Yeah. So, so like, just any kind of, mm -hmm. of It's like a raw fuel energy. consumption kind yeah. of thing that it's doing, where it's like, I need this yeah. to grow, I need this gas to grow. And Crazy so that it can just... It's, it's a different but similar kind of idea, I think, which is neat for it to be like, oh, yeah. I'm getting bigger. And it ate the crew. Yeah, it did eat the crew. I mean, I mean that's Matrix stuff when it comes like turn you know human being into this. How into small? A I wonder how small it started. Sure. Yeah. Did it rip out of a chest? How cute was it? <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah. How did they incubate it? Yeah. Right. And what is like? Is it just a hundred percent Zillow beast, or is it amalgamation? So that was my other thought too. Of initially, because we we right thought that now, originally, right? Right now, I feel like it's just Zillow beast. But initially, when it when it looked different, and I didn't know how they operated or anything, I was like, maybe yeah, maybe you take like you take this species and this species, and what they're practicing is gene splicing rather than just straight up cloning. Yeah. And I was like, that could be interesting, right? Where you're making a new creature from these five things. I want good armor. I want it to eat electricity. I want it to have a spiky tail. <laughs> you yeah. know. Bam. What's the cat thing on um, Geonosis that didn't? Nexus? Wasn't there a cat that had a spiky tail? Mm, it didn't. Have, uh, they, like, they the, have a the Nexus tail? has like a rat tail. I mean, then, maybe that's what I'm thinking yeah. of. I'm trying to think of various tails that we've seen in Star Wars that could be spiky. Um, that one flying thing had a long tail in Bad Batch from last season yeah. when they were trying to oh, save the, the Rancor. Oh, the ray thing or whatever it was? It was like a big like flying lizard whenever the slavers were getting the Rancor and stuff. Oh, yeah. It had yeah. Like, wings and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. The, the glidey, yeah. It had like a long tail and mm -hmm. it was like would hit stuff with it and stuff. <clears throat> what do you think they're going to do with the Zillow Beast? Where were they taking it? Like, there must be another... Was it coming... No, yeah, they said, right. like, this ship has arrived, but the, the other ship, like, we have to secure that package. Okay. Like, they were expecting it to come sure after them. I wasn't sure if it them. was coming from there. That makes sense. So they were doing this testing on Coruscant or something, mm -hmm. and they were like, let's send it to Tantus. To Tantus right? to, to meet up with Nala Se to yeah. do the work. Like a secret cloning base. Well, let's uh, throw up some of these questions that we got from Twitter. Nick McCarty says, I'm still watching the episode, but I can I... Just, uh, but can I just wow? Does this show look amazing? <laughs> Do you think we'll see the Clone Wars style animated movie in theaters again? Hmm. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I mean, you know, the, the reason this show looks so good is because it's literally like standing on the shoulders of, like George Lucas when he came up with the Clone Wars in 2008, mind you, is when that movie released. So it's, it's you know, technology is just so much more advanced now. Like, Lucas just lost millions of dollars producing the Clone Wars because he knew that the, the industry would get to this point for yeah. television. And that was his goal. Um, and I kind of feel like they're going to continue that with animation with Disney Plus and, and stuff. I'm not really sure about animation in the theaters. For Star Wars? Yeah. 
I mean, it I works know. for like DreamWorks and stuff like Minions it does. and whatnot. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. My other worry Disney is that franchises do it, but. Yeah. yeah, Pixar and stuff usually has things. So if they made a movie, you could. My worry right now is like theaters. I'm, I think, sadly, may start going the way of arcades, where so much streaming and stuff, you can watch so many things from home and whatnot yeah. with your own theater and stuff. That people are gonna do that less and less, and it's mm-hmm. gonna be kind of a dying industry. Yeah. yeah. Sadly, I like going to theaters. I always thought it was a fun experience when you have like a big group. Mm-hmm. This one we need some context. Uh, Lucas Five says they revealed that Scorch. Is to be voiced by D. Bradley Baker, which I'm actually happy with, since if you think about it, in the games you hear the voices through Boss, and they all sound the same, but uh, not to someone who grew up amongst the thousands. So what they mean is that in the in the games, uh, Tamir Morrison plays Boss, but the other crew members who are very different are actually voiced by other char- other actors. They kind of sound the same, but they're a little bit different. But here, obviously, we just, we're not getting that. We're having our clone commanders all through D. Bradley Baker. Sure. Yeah. So I like the point that you're making is that because we're actually playing as boss, we can hear it so that it's not a subtle difference. It's a major difference. That's a sure. really interesting way to kind of well, redcon a, the looseness. A twin can tell their voice from their twin's voice apart. Right? I imagine, yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. I can certainly tell my voice apart from, like, just five years ago. I think the better, yeah. the better things like can like a sibling tell the two twins' voices apart. Sure, I understand. Sure, yeah. Right? That would be that like would if be you better. guys were twins. If I heard yours and his, would I be like, ah, there's Eric. Oh, there's Calvin. Would I be like, I don't know. I give up. Heathram says, "Oh my God, Aaron, your dreams come true. Is it? Could it be? Zillow Beast? It is. <laughs> so happy. What could the Empire could want with it now that the Jedi are gone? I want to know what they were going to do with it. Because it was... I mean, it's still it's still impervious to blaster fire, too. Mm. Yeah. It just eats that shit up. I mean... Like, the Bad Batch were not going to be able to take that down. Palpatine no. has inherited a vast knowledge of Sith and their war beasts, so he could be doing something with that. I'm not really sure. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Zillow Beast would be a hell of a, of a Mandalore. It's like... Uh, mm-hmm. Right? It would. He found the Zillow Beast, and he's like, all right, let me add this to my chessboard, and maybe I will use it, you know? Did the big one die? The last time, yeah. yeah. I wonder is it is it like a, but and it was also the last of its kind. Sure, but is it a thing where like it has a whole bunch of eggs, or is it like a phoenix thing where it's reborn from, like it just has one? I think this grows was, up. This one was cloning tubes. I don't think there's any eggs yet, but it doesn't mean like I don't know when it could lay eggs. Adam says I'm happy to see the stakes of the show getting much wider after this episode. I have a feeling Mount Tantus is going to play a huge part in the rest of the season. Question, excuse me. Question, do you think the part of the emperor's plan with cloning tech is to clone himself? Snoke? Part yes. Uh maybe not necessarily the goal right now. I mean, we still have a long time before he's going to need that technology. Um so I think sure. that we have a little bit of room to kind of play around with, but yeah, Palpatine. The old EU played around with the idea of like trying to clone Force users just is hard. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work. They can come out insane. They could just not be Force users yeah. at all. Which I mean, it doesn't work like maybe that. Maybe that works with Rise of Skywalker a little bit because you yeah. see a lot of Snoke a lot of failure. failed clone yeah. attempts and stuff. I think that what they're doing is they're merging this cloning storyline, especially what we got from the old Dark Empire comics where we had a clone emperor like that. That story has been in Star Wars fandom for years and years and years. Lucas himself liked that story enough where he gave out, like at a Lucasfilm Christmas party, copies of Dark Empire where there was a clone Palpatine that Luke had to deal with, right? So I think that DNA has been in Star Wars for a while, but we're going to be mixing it with some other stuff, with the Kaminoans. Yeah. Well, and we also don't know about that uh, that one clone, like how he came to be, if yeah. that was a, a yeah. lead a towards like a really, Death Trooper or something. Really good point. So, like, all these experimentations that's going on could all be leading to the same thing. And you know what it reminds me of a little bit? Hmm. I mean, they are, they're stormtroopers, but, like, how the Nazis would do really weird occult shit yeah. to try yeah. to, like, win war, the war or whatever. Like, it kind of reminds me of that, where it's like... I don't know how much of it is real or whatever, this. there's some weird... Stories, at yeah. least, right? I mean, there was an occult division. There was, like, trying to get, like, a lady to breed with a chimp or something. I think I've read that one. <laughs> yeah. Really? I don't think it's gonna work. We'll I mean, see. I know like games and those stories where it's like yeah. they were working on time travel. They were sure. trying zombies. They were, you know, all and this kind of stuff. Order to hell. We gotta steal yeah. the Ark of the Covenant. You know, <laughs> like all those kind like of like sniper things. elite zombies. Yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. Like yeah. that kind of stuff. But I mean, it kind of reminds me of that where it's like we're gonna do some weird stuff so that we can win. 
or keep the power. MCU Forever says, great seeing the Zillow Beast finally come back into play. Now we just need to know what happened to Barris. So what do you think is going to happen to those civilians? If they want them to stay quiet, why not just kill them right there and then? Uh, I would say the Empire would just enslave them. Why let a good resource go to waste, huh? Sure. And, and then, we, yeah. saw, we saw that in Andor as well. Mm-hmm. Like, just get them on petty crimes, yeah. whatever you can get them for, and then just recycle them as slave labor. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I, Barris is kind of still, not a loose thread. I felt like the Zillow Beast was more of a loose thread than Barris was. But yeah, well, she people have always talked about, maybe she'll come back as an Inquisitor or just something. Sure, because she know. was arrested and then we just never saw her again, mm-hmm. right? I mean, she could have been shot in herself. I assumed her being kind of a Jedi, because she wasn't on Palpatine's side, I don't believe. She was like... She was just anti She was anti-Jedi. Really. I mean, her methods were Extreme. crazy. Extreme. Crazy teenager Jedi, but I mean, she wasn't wrong. No, I mean, also that's not <laughs> to imply, I guess, because there's other people who have done things yeah. for what Palpatine wanted, but yeah. not were on his side. Yeah. So sure, she could have also been manipulated. But and we've had uh, examples like uh, Jedi Fallen Order, where a Jedi Padawan is taken and is turned and turned to Inquisitor. Mm-hmm. So that could very well happen. Billy Brigadante, which is how I'm choosing to say it, says. <laughs> With the show now revealing the facility to be a recanonized Mount Tantus from Heir to the Empire, do you think this could be building up to a new adaptation of the Thrawn trilogy set during the Mandalorian or the sequel era? It's possible. I mean, we sure. have we have that build up with Ahsoka on uh, Cordova. Well, she's like, "Where is your master? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn?" Yeah. Um, I mean, and then you... yeah, Heir to the Empire cloning. I mean, we just talked about how it's notoriously hard to clone Jedi. In Heir of the Empire, there's a Jedi named Joris Kaboth who was who was cloned, and that clone was a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No, I mean, I think there's possibilities with that. I mean, if you set it in, like, the Mandalorian time, mm-hmm. it kind of falls in line with the Heir of the Empire time frame a little bit. Um, also, I mean, you could potentially have... He probably, he probably wouldn't be an admiral, but you could have him show up in this time because he yeah. would be alive in this era. Yeah. Um, it just depends on what Palpatine wants him to do or where you know where he falls in the plans and everything, you know? Mm-hmm. But that could be cool. It could. R.C. Starr, a lot of people are now just talking about loose threads, I think. R.C. Starr says, now that we're starting to use uh, unanswered story questions, I have one question for you guys. Will we see Rod of the Hut again? I miss you, Stinky. Stay strong, buddy. We'll find you. <laughs> That's true. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> just kind of disappeared. I don't know. It could be cool. Remember when we watched that and Rick is like, he just simply eats him. <laughs> he went through all of that just to eat his young. Can't have a successor uh, <laughs> out there and about. Rada just eats Rada. It'd be cool to take Rada and do something different with him. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe this like Hut's... Like he's not a jerk. Well, like, maybe this Hut's nice. Maybe he's, maybe he's a, a smuggler and he's in a little bit more shape, yeah. you know? He hang out with Jabba's ne- nephew and his band. Yeah, you know, like we always we always yeah. just see them being just big crime bosses. Yeah, sure. Like maybe he didn't want to follow in his daddy's footsteps, and he left the the hut, the syndicate. You know, and like I'm gonna go do my own thing. I don't yeah. know. Like it'd be interesting to see just something mm. different. Fetty Targaryen says the Zillow Beast. Mm. Nothing more to add. <sighs> mm. I can't believe they waited this long to do it. Well, you would have figured it showed back up in Clone Wars or something. Something. No, you wait. Uh, Mudfish <laughs> Mudfish Nick will end since the credits confirmed that the Black and Yellow Commando from last season is indeed Scorch assuming that the end of Republic Commando is now canon what do you think happened to Boss and Fixer since then uh, I won't say too much just that Republic Commando kind of ends on a pretty big cliffhanger for, for Commandos sure. and uh, there's some questions about certain people it also might not be a thing where like this canonizes the game no. but yeah. these characters can be real and we've done that tons sure. of times where yeah. it's like we'll pull this I mean yeah. Admiral Thrawn right I said that one right sometimes I say Eobard Thawne <laughs> gotcha. yeah. but Admiral Thrawn showing up yeah. people were like ah oh, he's supposed to be an heir of the Empire time this is too mm-hmm. early or you know whatever and it's like well maybe yeah. not you can just like you can have that character do something else. Maybe you get to something like that later. Maybe you don't get to something like that. He could be older, though. I mean, yeah, Star Wars so. Legends is branded as such because it's meant to, like, look, these stories don't mean anything. You can't get enjoyment out of them. And when we do want to play around with that, like, well, 
here's the legend of the Republic Commandos, and then here's the canon of the Republic Commandos. I think there's a lot of room for that, and they probably make for a fantastic foil to the Bad Batch themselves. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like the Bad the Batch anti- is, kind, is kind of Republic Commando Delta Squad, like 2.0. They're like the way. good batch. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. The good batch, <laughs> bad batch. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's the questions, a poll for this episode. Did you ever really, truly think the Zillow Beast was going to come back? In your heart of hearts, if you had to bet before you watch this episode, I'll give you a million dollars if you're right. Yes or no, what would you have honestly picked? I think I would have honestly picked no. No? Really? Yeah, for, was I, it, I do. Was it forever or for this episode? Forever. I, I, I have to go wrong. with I yes. Love, I, I, I love it, but there is... A, not for me, but I've heard of a stigma of people being like, I don't really like how George just like took classic films and made Star Wars versions of them. And I was never really sure what like the powers of B felt about that now that he's not part of the the you know the thing anymore. But I mean it's Dave. Uh, I know that he's not as involved in Bad Batch as he is now that he's focusing on Ahsoka and, and Mandalorian sure. and stuff. Yeah, but sure. so but, I was always like, I don't know. I mean maybe, but not like you. I think you're an unabashed yes. <laughs> and Calvin, you're, I'm a, I'm a you're yes. strong I was not, yes as well. I was like, not expecting not as, this episode to be it. But definitely I was not holding on. I'm just saying, a million dollars on the table, yes are, or no. I would have went with no. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. they got to do it. So, so Dave glad. loves bringing back obscure I love a million dollars. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guys, check out that poll at patreon.com slash blindwave. Thank you so much for being a, a blindwave supporter. I know things are, are changing, but... We are here for you and here for Star Wars, and that will never change. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys back here. Yes! Oh, I got it. Yes! Six-